All right, so we're here in Waterford, Michigan, and you're watching our channel, Puts Ponds and Gardens. So what we've got going on is a change in plans already, and we haven't even dug a hole yet. Initially, this was gonna be a 12 by 13 pond. Now we're going a little bit further on that side over here, and we're gonna go a little bit further back on this side. We have a waterfall. We'll put a biological filter up there. We're gonna use the Aquascapes um, 2500 series biological filter on that side it'll enter in right down over here brian's telling me to hurry up because he wants to start digging because he was off work for last week on this end we're going to put a skimmer we'll use the aquascape signature series 1000 this pond is going to be approximately three feet deep because we're actually rehoming fish that are on another part of the property we'll show you those in a minute there there's some significant size fish there so we want to give them as much room as possible to swim going to be really close to the patio here so we're going to do a butt rock or a destination stone on this side we've got existing slopes that come down we'll do a berm on that side to stop uh, storm water from entering in underneath the liner we're going to level out this grate on this side, build up our waterfalls on that side, and then down where Brian is sitting, we're going to bring that up, so that way we have our water level is going to be consistent, obviously, but we want to have the same amount of boulders exposed all the way around the pond. Follow along with us, and we'll show you some magic. All right, so here's the existing pond, and here's the residents of those the pond. So we've got some really nice sized koi. I'm so glad that the homeowners have made a decision to give them a bigger home. Look at them. They're just ready. They can't wait for us to build them a bigger home. Right, guys and girls? So we've got a, one, two, three, four, we've got five fish in here that are just gonna love their new home. This isn't even deep enough for them. They're gonna think that they just won the lottery and got a really big home for themselves. The new pond is gonna be three feet deep by 16 foot. We've changed it up a little bit. Let's go over and see what Brian and Derek have got going on. So he's already scraped the sod off of the top. And right now he's he's got 18 inch depth for the shelf. The biofalls is set up on the top over here. Skimmer is set right now at water level. Our piping is in. Derek is doing the overflow right now. So behind Derek, a lot of the soil is going to be put up in through here to stop that soil or the uh, stormwater runoff down into the pond or underneath the liner. Brian's finding a big tree right now. That's just part of the roof right there that we're running into. Of course, we found lots of sprinkler lines already. That, that should pop right out of there. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you do when your biofalls that is already installed is the same grade as your patio? I don't know. Basically, what has to happen is biofalls, that thing right there, needs to come up because we're checking the grade of the biofalls right now, and it is the same height as the patio, which is way over there. And that's what our grade, all the grade around here is going off of, is that patio. That is our set grade point. 
So basically the biofalls here has to come up because our water level as of right now is three inches below the grade and the grade is right at the bottom of that stick right there. So that upper ring on the biofalls, that is the same grade as the patio, which is again over there. If that's grade, the water level is three inches below that. Three inches below that level would make water level about uh, right here. We uh, will have to dig up the biofalls and raise it up. So that way we will be able to have one, two, three drops into the pond. If we were to leave it like this, all of the drops would be completely underwater. I don't know about you, but I like waterfalls and when they are underwater, they don't look so good. That's just a uh, one of the things that we're dealing with right now and um, check you later. Carrot. <laughs> Carrot. Banana. ABC. He just comes up out of the woodwork, you know? Like yeah. stealth mode. Yeah. Like Eat your seeds. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta don't just like, let him come it, to you. Hold it low. Go ahead. Go ahead and pick it up and just hold it low. Just hold it. Don't do anything. And don't and just He'll come don't. He'll come get it. Swirl. And this is one of the. <laughs> A nice home for this one. No. Day two in Waterford, Michigan. The hole's dug, liner's in, the crew has about half of it rocked in. We've got a fish cave right down there. Uh, found this old log that's been sitting on the property for a while. They're gonna fill it up with some different plantings, maybe have a couple poking through the top over there. Um, just have fun with it. God, you put the hostas yeah, up there. You like yeah, that, eh? yeah, I love it. oh my god. Doesn't that, it just That's like, cool. so gave it a, a look, right? for a swim uh, in it, actually, oh <laughs> you're thinking about it. <laughs> Excited no, enough. Yeah, you put another one there, and that, yeah. Oh, I know, right over and there. You see the little, the little out Back top there. of the boulder? You can put something there, and then up there on that one. Nah, that's perfect. 
So our first pond was a prefabbed pond kit that we purchased from Kmart back in 2003. Over the course of the years, we removed that pond kit, built a little bit bigger pond, and then did another expansion um, of that same pond. But our fish are getting bigger. We knew they needed more space. So I'd been wanting to expand the pond or build a new pond, and we've been talking about it for the last two or three years. I always drew my inspiration about what type of pond I would want from the garden and pond tours that I used to go on with my mom and my aunt. So we finally decided that this year was the year to build a new pond. You know, 2020 has been an exceptionally challenging and different year due to the pandemic. So we decided it was the perfect time to build a new pond. So we found Dan. Dan came out, uh, gave us an estimate. We talked about some ideas. And he and his crew did a phenomenal job building this new pond for us. We absolutely love it. We have enjoyed being at home, sitting on the patio, sitting by the bonfire, just watching the pond. Um, It is just magnificent. Uh, We couldn't have asked for a better um, builder than Dan, Derek, and Brian, and the rest of the guys. They were phenomenal to work with, and we just absolutely love our pond.